I am not in focus. Sorry guys, I'm sick. I just have to deal with the nasalness. Nasalness. Nasaliness. How do we start this? Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about one of my biggest pet peeves, and that pet peeve just so happens to be. You know when people text message you one word at a time rather than putting all the texts into one text message so now you have like 20 notifications? Yeah, I hate that. Oh, and also... Over dramatic pe- Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding, I'm not even gonna redo this. I'm just gonna let it go. Over dramatic people. So as I was mentioning earlier, we probably all know at least one overdramatic person. And if you don't have anyone like this in your life, it's probably because it's you. And you don't think that you're being overdramatic because overdramatic situations are like normal situations to overdramatic people. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just people like myself who aren't fond of drama get a little annoyed sometimes. I mean, you guys know what kind of people I'm talking about, right? These are the people that can literally make a big deal out of anything, no matter how small it is. Oh. My god. What? Dana posted a picture on Instagram 20 minutes ago. So? So? That means she's on Instagram. And that's bad? Uh, yeah. She didn't like my post and I tagged her in it like three hours ago. Yeah, that's awful. And by making this a bigger deal, these people actually create drama that was never there. Please tell me you're not actually gonna go over there. I have to confront her. She's my best friend. What if she just didn't see it? Okay, I tagged her and I know she keeps her notifications on, so she definitely saw and chose not to like it, so there's something 100,000% wrong. I have to talk to her. And even when they come to realize that there was no drama in the first place... Hey! What's your problem with me? Huh? Oh, that's a good one! Yeah, I know, so why didn't you like it? I didn't even know you posted. Yeah, right. I tagged you in it like three hours ago. See? I mean, come on, we always like each other's photos, and like, I don't even know what, oh, why you- You tagged the wrong account. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, mine's the one with the underscore. Yeah. But being the overdramatic person that they are, they somehow find a way to create even more drama out of that. Because what's life without drama? Wait, I'm so sorry. No, no, don't even worry about it. I would do the same, oh, girl. I know, like, totally overreacted. So crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, Ryan even warned me that you're on your way. Oh, Ryan texted you. Yeah, yeah, isn't that so funny? <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> You know when people text message you one word at a time rather than putting all the texts into one text message so now you have like 20 notifications? Yeah. As you can probably see, overdramatic people are some of the most annoying people in the world. But if you want to look on the bright side, while being annoying, they're actually some of the most interesting and entertaining people to be around because they're never bored. Bored is an emotion that overdramatic people hardly ever feel because their mind can make anything and everything seem important and interesting. They have the power to basically take nothing and turn it into an incredibly important big deal. It's basically like clickbait. Actually, that's a pretty good saying. Overdramatic people are basically like living clickbait. Oh, Whoa. Come. Jeez. Come here, Rocket. Come here. Come here. What's wrong? Nothing, just on my period. Come on, aren't you being a little overdramatic? Excuse me? How would you know what it would feel like if you never had one before? Wait a second. Wait, no, you're right. I've never had a period before. Okay, obviously I exaggerated, but that's kind of the whole point. That's a textbook example of an overdramatic person. Taking a situation that barely happened and then making it into something that you would see in a YouTube thumbnail. And it actually got me kind of interested and got me thinking, like, what makes overdramatic people want to do this? Is it because they love drama or maybe they just want more attention? I just couldn't figure it out. Then I thought, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe it's not for attention or because they love drama. Some people are just different. I mean, there's two ends of the spectrum. There's, like, emotional thinkers and logical thinkers. And I think if you're on the emotional side, that's, like, the overdramatic people. People like myself are more on the logical side. And just to be clear, I'm not saying either side is wrong. We're just different people. Emotional people may see things completely different from a logical person. And it's because they literally see life in a different way. I mean, if that's the case, that's actually pretty amazing. Because life for overdramatic people are always exciting. Their life is like a movie. It's a drama. You see, I presented all those skits earlier from my perspective. You know, the, the boring perspective, the logical one. But imagine what those little situations would look like from the point of view of a overdramatic person. Take a look. I don't know how to 
to tell you this. I don't even know how it happened, but uh, I'm pregnant. It's weird. He doesn't normally growl at people. Pregnant. I have a baby inside of me. How is that even possible? Oh. I'm sorry, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll... You don't know what it feels like! What are you talking about? I'll... My nipples are gaping! You don't even have nipples! Don't you ever talk about my nipples again. Anyway, the moral of the story here is that there are just different types of people in this world. Yes, those overly emotional, overly dramatic people might seem incredibly annoying to someone like me, and I'm sure a bunch of you as well, but I mean, it's not their fault, that's just how they think. That's just how they see life. So if you ever get annoyed or you have to deal with an overdramatic person in your life, don't even bother trying to be reasonable, don't try to change them. You're never gonna win in trying to convince a overdramatic, overemotional thinker to think logically, because that's just not who they are. My advice to you, and the only thing that you can do, is to just accept them for who they are, admit defeat, let them be them. Or, there's also one last trick, you could also speak their language. And be even more overdramatic than they are. So, how long have you guys been sleeping together? What? Don't you lie to me. I was texting you the whole time on the way back from our house, so I know you know what I'm talking about. Wait a second. You were texting the whole time? Yeah, and you weren't responding, so I know you were talking to her. So you were texting? And driving? Yeah, but... You were... My sister died from a man who was texting and driving! You don't even have a sister! Are you gonna bring that up? Yeah. I've always wanted a sister! Okay, I didn't know you wanted a sister! I had no idea! Oh, I did! And now you know! I'm sorry! Well, I'm sorry too you then! forget about it! I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so gross. <laughs>